フルカウンター All right, boys. So the Grand Cross anniversary countdown has started. Nick, my boss, starting to tease it with a countdown. Which uh, what day is it? It's um Monday. So I believe on Thursday we should get the free banner for JP, and then um following the next week on the 26th of May we are gonna get the anniversary banner. No countdown or like actual vote banner yet. I think we normally get it around this time, so we might get it soon. Hopefully we can vote for the units to be on the banner this time because we wanna get the banner with Tamio and Saru or the new ones. But uh, on screen now. Is the new T. So, one thing is curious. Well, we know leaks, right? So, we know this Elizabeth right here is a. Pro oh, you know what it probably is? I'm thinking I could be wrong here. So, it looks like we're getting 154 free summons, like how we usually do, right? Um, whether it's a free banner. And from the looks of it, it might have festivals on the banner. I think that's what it's indicating. Or it's indicating two things here. One, the festival is going to be Goddess Elizabeth. The artwork they used here is the exact same one for. um goddess elizabeth but eskino for some reason is upside down lord knows why but maybe the teasing we're getting eskino like not maybe just a festival but the blue eskino that we've been wanting for so long now i think right now if you look right now uh even though we have a blue eskino which is the one we are still yet to get eskino in his um purple outfit which i assume would be the blue one right here to finish off like the normal holy night eskinos and um yeah i'm curious how to do it because they could do two eskinos one with the purple outfit for this one but then very, very soon, in literally like two or three chapters, so in about four months' time on Grand Cross Story Mode, we should get the one with the purple outfit who does um the thing the finger po poke, I forgot what it's called. Divine Spear Eskinor, I think it is. So uh maybe the tease Eskinor and like another year. I don't I don't know, but I think what this is indicating, considering it says free 154A, we're gonna get 50, well, 14 summons with festivals on it. So uh, that is actually kind of good. From the looks of it, it's going to be like year one festivals or like, you know, year two basically. So Eskino, Goddess Elizabeth, Lost Fane, probably, yeah, a Festival King, the small one. And then possibly they might throw in Barn, Festival King, maybe Margaret, or like some Holy War characters. I don't know. But already off to a great start towards the anniversary. If we are going to be getting 14 free summons with festivals on the banner, it's the first thing we've done now. And to be fair, is it that good now? Yeah, I'll take the free festival coins for a lot of you lot right now. Probably haven't got the 166. And I made a video yesterday going over that, um, you know, Eskino versus Millen 66. And uh, you, you can watch that video if you want to. But you, you really want to have the 166 for like a lot of content nowadays just because it's so easy to clear all the content. But yeah, that is the countdown. Hopefully, we do get some more news soon. But uh, might as well, since we're here and the video is just kind of short, let's just go over the global patch notes because we did get some. All right, so I might have to trip or upload today because there's so much content, man. I've not It's been a week now and I've not even showcased Shuna, Rimuru, or Benny Mari yet. So I have to get going. But like with my daily uploads, one at one a day is uh, honestly not enough nowadays. Uh, but yeah, as you can see right here, boom, we are getting if for it. Obviously, we knew this because of JP. I will be doing my guy tomorrow over it. I think what I might do is use the team that we used to use back Back in the day, I believe it was a uh, King Diane Matrona and a uh, Rumuri. So I'm not too sure he buffed it because back then. It was kind of easy to even solo it with Rimuru. So, uh, we'll see how far the game has come since then. But I think they may have buffed a little bit. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but this, um, nothing new here. But this is the main one. Because you're going to get a free UR set for Milan and Benny Maru. Milan's the main one. I think it's this outfit right here, right? Yeah, I believe it's this one right here. So, honestly, probably one of the better ones because it is from the actual anime. But trust me, boys, Milan, if you get all of the cosmetics for them, obviously, you can't buy the last one if you don't buy it with actual money. But Max Knight Milan 444, honestly, worth it. She's so broken for like PvE content and uh, getting one of my go to DPSs from now on. So, getting that free UR set or like, you know, uh, outfits and weapons can be so helpful. So, make sure you get that because it's going to be better. Uh, there is the Benny Maru one, but like, Benny Maru isn't too great. And we're going to get the final Relic P which I'll probably end up using on Benny Maru or um, I think Rimuru, one of them. I don't think I've done it yet. And um, I believe that is just it. We have the Nighthood rankings and yeah, literally that's it. So uh, boys, that is all for today. A little bit of a quick one, but let me know if you're excited for the anniversary. Already starts off good. Obviously, I'll make my videos in the next few, two days time. We lead up to it, but hopefully there's something special or something hidden in this update rather than just getting bloody Elizabeth, which I've made my video about, by the way. I highly recommend watching it. It was actually quite a good video to make an edit where I basically go over what Elizabeth is going to do. We don't know the exact what she's going to do, like her actual skills, but we can kind of get a brief idea of what her, what her skills are going to be in terms of like how they're going to look uh basically like arc and um 
Noah's, I think it's Noah's uh, audio. I think I mispronounced it. Let me know what you think of these free festival summons we're going to get because this is actually kind of starting off really, really good. So, uh, finally, a free good banner. I mean, the fever one was good, but that was only seasonal. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching and, uh, yeah, peace.